Hello and welcome to this channel. It was revealed this week the Duchess who married Prince Harry in May 2018 has still not received her British citizenship. The royal, who was a US citizen, made her application up to two years ago and is still waiting for it to come through. A friend of the actress turned royal told the Daily Mail, Meghan is not yet a British citizen. It might seem extraordinary, given that she's been married to the Queen's grandson for 18 months, but she accepts that it's a slow process. Before Harry and Meghan married, the Prince's Communications Secretary, Jason Neuf, and Meghan would be complying with immigration requirements at all times. He added, I can also say she intends to become a UK citizen and will go through the process of that, which some of you may know takes a number of years. Meghan was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. She moved to the UK when she and Harry got engaged in November 2017. Meghan is currently in the UK on family visa. While Meghan still isn't a British citizen, her son Archie Harrison is. Being born in the UK means the couple's child is automatically a British citizen. Meghan and Harry will be able to apply for dual citizenship for their son as Meghan was born and grew up in, the Amer in America. As Meghan is still an American citizen, she is therefore required to pay tax in the US for any income earned or allowance she receives. This taxable income includes items such as gifts, home earnings for her acting career, even her clothes. The delay also means Meghan will be able to vote in December 12 general election. Members of the royal family are allowed to cast a ballot, but by tradition choose not to do so. A spokesman for the Duchess declined to comment if she would vote in the US presidential election next year. Earlier this week, Meghan held a meeting with former Democratic contender Hillary Clinton. The former U.S. presidential candidate and the first lady met Meghan and Harry at Frogmore Cottage, Windsor. Mrs. Clinton also managed to give baby Archie a cuddle during the visit. A royal source said both women have a lot of admiration for each other and it is very sweet, warm meeting. They are mutual fan girls. Earlier this week, the former U.S. Secretary of State told the BBC that she felt sympathetically towards Meghan and her exposure to intense scrutiny. Mrs. Clinton said, Oh my God, I want to hug her. I feel, as a mother, I just want to put her in my, in my arms around her. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more celebrity news.